Hey guys, I'm Riggy Rob, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage. So, last time we completed the any percent speed run to the main character losing their parent, because it literally happened within three chapters, and we've met up with a couple of other key characters, so uh, the stewards, and also the Prince of Thyrene, Alfred, and they are going to be our allies going forward. So, we finished the battle. Uh, we had to use the Draconic Time Crystal to rewind because we put Alfred in a bad spot, but we managed to get around it. And of course, we conveniently got the Draconic Crystal after Queen Lumera uh, passed away. So, let's continue on then from Chapter 4, A Land in Bloom, post-battle. Very serene. <sighs> Oh, you weren't in the battle. Hello. What are you doing hiding behind a tree? No, f no shoes, prisoner. Okay. There's no need to be afraid. It's gone. All right, but why were you hiding from the battle that we just had? You saved my life. Thank you. It was nothing, really. I only did what anyone else would do. Are you here by yourself? I am. I saw the fighting and thought I could help. What's with the collar, though? You're braver than I am. I can't stand the corrupted. I was so startled I couldn't think. You really did save my life. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the Divine Dragon. What a lovely name. I'm Vale. Vale. Hmm, Vale, hiding their true nature, perhaps. Might I interrupt? What is it? Even with the Corrupted gone, it may not be safe for her out here. Not safe for me? Perhaps we should escort her home, or to an inn. That's a good idea. Hey, Vale, do you live around here? And huh? she's gone. She's gone. I'm sure their motives will be revealed Divine in one. due time. Saline, did you see a girl pass this way? Small with long hair, barefoot? Suspicious outfit? No, I'm afraid I didn't see anyone matching that description. <sighs> okay, thanks. Did you need something? I wanted to thank you. Alfred told me that you accepted Firinay's request for aid. And your help in the battle was the difference between victory and defeat. Thank you. Truly. Don't mention it. Alfred and I are friends. I was happy to help. Friends? He said that? Imagine speaking so casually with the Divine Dragon. Please, allow me to apologize on his behalf. There's no need to put me on a pedestal. Yeah, I've literally been asleep for a thousand years. I'm not anything special. I just woke up, and the world is new to me. I make mistakes like anyone. Is that so? I thought surely the Divine Dragon would be an all-seeing, all-powerful being. But here I find that you are rather more... human than I expected. Perhaps we can be friends. Is interacting with dragons, like, not a thing here? Because clearly the Divine Dragon's known to pretty much everyone. Whereas in other games, it's usually trying to be kept a secret. Like, the Manaket are uh, trying to hide in the desert, for example. But here, it's like, oh yeah, we totally know about dragons. And people that transform into them. Then, what do you say, Saline? Friends? I would be honoured. The convoy is available to myself and adjacent units to store and withdraw items during battle. And I have a feeling now that we've got, well, a lot of units, we're going to have to make some decisions about who to bring and who to leave behind. You can adopt the animals you encounter while exploring and bring them back to the Somnial. After you adopt them, you can let your animals graze in the farmyard. They may even drop goods and ingredients that you can use. If you donate to countries using the bulletin board, you may be able to adopt more animals. Okay. All right. Well, let's have a quick catch up with everyone. Ooh. I was always moved to tears to see you grow leaps and bounds like that. Fifty bond fragments. 
Okay. Your allies may give you bond fragments if you have conversations while exploring. Use bond fragments on the Somnial to create bond rings or train with emblems. When you finish exploring, you will receive any available bond fragments that you missed. Oh, I was going to say, so there's a reason to talk to people after battles, but they give you the stuff anyway. So it's just to get the flavor text then. Hmm. I'm glad we found Saline, but I'm worried about the castle. Let's head there as soon as we can. <sighs> Why would the illusions invade Firine? I hope that mother is safe at the castle. Alright. Oh, hello. Yes. Villager, sometimes it relaxes me to just sit back and watch the flowers gro uh, grow. All right, iron ingots. Thank you so much. I feel like I got strong, you know. Thanks for fighting beside me, divine one. And then clan. Yes. Wow, I took out a lot of enemies this time, huh? Just ha glad to help out, divine one. A hundred. I wonder whether MVPs will get more bond fragments for doing uh, a mission. Flora's got a beautiful port. I haven't been in a while. I wonder how the folks there are doing. Mare Donkey. You can't adopt this Mare Donkey because you don't know how to raise it. See the donation section of the bulletin board at the Cafe Terrace to learn more. Alright. Thank you for your help. I never thought we'd see monsters here in this peaceful village. Oh, I bet you what happens is if you let villages get destroyed, these people just don't show up. Oh my. Louis, the divine one, I presume. I'm Louis. Thank you for coming to my princess's aid. Thank you. Chloe, hello, I'm Chloe. I can't thank you enough for saving Princess Saline's life. Yes. Our wool is some of the finest in Firine. We present some to the royal family every year. Right. Etie, I pushed past the plateau during that fight. I'm feeling stronger than ever now. 50 brown fragments. Alright, so we've got a chicken. Can't adopt it. Adopt the Elosian sheep and bring it back to the Somnio. Adopt. Adopted. Alright. And then there's a doggy. Elosian dog. <laughs> so the Somnio is going to get a lot more lively now. Uh... Vander. I am so accustomed to the battlefield, I must work to remember the peacefulness of life Lethos. Alright. What do you guys have got to say? Well, you've got nothing. Yes. This village will be nothing without those windmills drawing water and grinding grain. Uh huh. Really? Look, you can see Ferenay Castle from here. Isn't it gorgeous? I wonder what it's like to live here. I live there. And a few other people, are you picking stuff from here? Aha! Oranges! Um. Firenay is best known for oranges, but it's been host to all manner of fruit over its long history. Alright. Probably everything to do? Like, there'll be villagers around on the map. Uh, yeah, I, I said last time that we actually get to see the elevation for forts during battles. And I think that's really cool that they actually made the effort to put kind of like a topology here. <laughs> what a distinctive appearance you have. You must come from a distinguished noble line. You could say that. Thank you. Thank you for protecting the village, but what brings Prince Alfred and Princess Saline here? And then... Okay. There's an item over here. Yeah. Tomatoes. Oh, I think I actually missed something over here. <laughs> More oranges. So, yeah. Yeah, but like I said, it, it's nice to be able to interact with the battlefield more than just, like, clearing it through on a 2D plane. Wow. Our flowers are great in perfumes and for adding a touch of fragrance to Firenese tea. Alright. And then you guys. Yeah. They use this boat to transport freshly picked flowers. Isn't it a lovely sight? Oh. And it may not be as famously clear as in the north, but the water in a village is wonderful too. Alright, and then... Ah, here's the item. 50 bond fragments, okay. So, do they add the sparkling spots just to give a bit of interactivity? Or... Can you literally miss some things if you don't collect them all? all right, well, I think I've got everything, so... Oh, yeah, so they even put the 
unadoptable animals highlighted in orange. Okay. Well, fair enough. Let's depart to the next chapter. Yeah, three houses had the cats and the dogs and so on, but I didn't really use those hey, at all. Hey, folks. Mind if we bend your ear a minute? Durthan. Hmm? Name's Durthan. I'm an armorer. And this here's Anis, purveyor of goods. Okay, so now that we've got the convoy, we have our own shop. We saw you trading thumps with those things. Figured you might be in the market for supplies. Yes. If you need, we'd be happy to provide you with quality weapons and items. Anything to defeat those creatures. They pose a terrible threat to traveling merchants like us. How would you feel about moving to our base? You can sell your wares from there. <clears throat> Divine One. These are strangers. What? We don't have any facilities. These two could be a good addition. Uh, you're gonna let us open shops at your base? Why not? If you'd like to. We'll need plenty of weapons and items from here on out. But again, there's no durability on weapons. It's a haven. You won't find any creatures there. You got yourself a bargain. Oh, can't wait to do business together. Thank you for this. I will do my utmost to ensure you receive the finest items. 10,000 gold in military funds from Vanda. Okay. But the question is, is what weapons and items do we have available? Bond conversations are available? World map. Use the world map to select a destination or move to the next chapter. So you continue the story, move myself to the next destination and press A. Manage your inventory or return to the Somnial using the menu. Okay, so... Oh, there's even a free camera. Oh, okay. Well, that's quite nice. Yeah, the fact that you couldn't do this with Fodlan was a bit of a, a disappointment. Like, obviously you get the narrations and the tapestries that give you a feel of the areas, but being able to actually see it is a different thing. So... Okay, well, right then. So, let's see, menu, emblem rings. So we've assigned all of the emblem rings to people. Um, whether we want to sort of take advantage of other units, I'm not sure. So, interestingly enough, armor units, specifically Louis, has the same movement as all of our foot soldiers. So that's so that's usually the reason why you wouldn't want to use an army unit is because they have much less movement, you know? But, okay. Hmm. Fair enough. Inventory. Manage skills. Select managed skills from the inventory menu to see your ally skills and equip inherited ones. Allies can inherit skills from emblems in the ring chamber and the arena on the Somnial. Okay, so if I were to manage my skills... Ah, okay. So... Obviously, we don't have any other skills, but I'm assuming we get skills when we promote. And then manage items. So we've got a couple of things here. So let's see. Shop, marketplace, armory. So let's just put it all to the convoy to begin with. So, okay. So, yeah, you have functionally infinite, unless it's a special item like a javelin, compact axe. Hmm, okay, so compact, slim, no bronze. Uh, mini bow is a short range one, so we already picked one of those up. Iron bow we already have. Throwing knife poisons hit foes. Okay, so like the ninjas in Fates. Okay. A basic attack tome that can only be used in close combat. Uh-huh, standard tome of fire. Oh, so, Surge is guaranteed to hit, but only hits at one range, and it has more might and more weight than using a Fire Tome, which is... Okay, and then Initiate Art. So, as a basic text, it does not attack twice. Okay, but again, has more might for that. And 30 dodge as well. So, dodge tanking is what you want to use this one for. Okay. Alright, well... Hmm. I don't really see the need for Surge over Fire, considering that it's, what, two might difference for losing 1-2 two, two range, so that's not really useful. But being able to dodge stuff seems like it'd be good. Um, now, the question is, is, 
I suppose I should just have a short knife, just for the fact that I'll have it for whoever uses them. Uh, we already have a mini bow, a hand axe for range? 12 weight though. Hmm. Javelin. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see. So, Fram is the one that uses arts. Uh, wait, I've already bought one, so I don't need to do that. I just need to manage my stuff. So manage items. And you can have the initiate art. Oh, I should also be able to buy a, a, a stave for her. Again, put it in the convoy first. So we have heal. 10 power, not 12. Okay. Or buy one. Illume, a staff that magically shines through the darkness, illuminates a seven space radius and shrinks one space per turn. I guess we'll take one because I don't know what's coming up. We can buy infinite vulnerabilities, infinite antitoxins, infinite pure waters. Only one torch. And we have tonics, so it grants HP plus five for a battle. Okay. So just a little bit of a buff if you need it. Well, I'll buy the torch as well. Since it's I'll uh, buy one more heal. Okay. But otherwise, I think we're fine for, like, vulneraries, because I've not used too many. Um, so, yeah. So, let's trade off that mini bow to Etier. Alright, what would be useful? I guess having a better accuracy weapon for Vanda makes sense. Vanda... So a compact axe, yeah, 113. He's already using an iron axe. So we'll buy a more accurate axe for him. Right. I suppose I should just buy more accurate stuff for everyone, really. So we already have slim lances, right? So iron bow, mini bow. There's not a, yeah, there's not a compact bow. Yeah, Boucheron's got a, a javelin, so who would be best to have a javelin? It has to be Chloe's already got one, and she's already got a slim lance as well, so give that to Alfred. Uh, and I guess Alfred should also have the javelin. Oh, wrong person. Take the javelin from Boucheron. Just so he's got range. So iron bow, iron axe. So we'll buy a compact axe for Boucheron. There we go. Okay. Oh, yes. Saline can use swords. So what would be good for Saline? An iron sword, although that's... Okay, that's worse based on a fire staff. A fire um, tome. Okay. Well, actually, I think I should probably just swap around a special weapon from myself. So, 6, 4, 90. 10, 6, 90. Okay. Divine Dragon only, though. So... Sword of Alphonse. Yeah, you know what? She can have more attack if she ever needs it, but otherwise we're fine with liberation. Um, right. Okay. I think that's okay. Everyone's got an item or a weapon or something that is additional to what they already had. Let's go ahead and put that heal staff on her. Ooh, actually. Yeah, let's do the loom staff first. Okay, so she's full, and we can go to the convoy and swap stuff around if we ever need to. So I realize that this is kind of just, like, literally inventory management, but it's the first time I've done this, so. Support conversations! Myself and clan. Divine One, what are you doing? Oh, hello, clan. I was just tidying up a bit. Tomorrow's a busy day, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. Let me take care of that. 
You should get some rest. That's all right. I can handle it. No, no, that won't do. I'm gonna have to insist. But... Please... You know, I waited a long time for you to wake up. And not just me. The stewards before me spent their whole lives waiting. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. It's like a miracle. So, please, let me do it. Honestly, truly, I would be honored to help. <laughs> Very well. You've convinced me. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> I should be thanking you for taking such great care of me. I'm very lucky to have you as a steward. You mean it? Oh, man, I'm so happy I can faint! <laughs> Please don't. Now that I'm free from tidying up, I'm going to get some rest. Yeah, life of a noble, right? Alright, level C. And Vander and Fram. Fram! Why are you loafing about? I told you to sort through the offerings. Oops. I completely forgot. Grant me the patience. How do you manage to bungle even the smallest task? Bander is so harsh on these guys. This is exactly why I fear for your future. I meant to do it, honest. It just kind of slipped my mind. You know I will not credit that excuse. Forgetting is the same as doing nothing at all. Imagine how disappointed your parents would be if they found out. Ooh, low blow. <sighs> Fram, I have high expectations for you and your brother. You are my successors, after all. For my peace of mind, and to honor the mother and father who left you in my care, do better. Yes, sir. This is the last time I let you down, Vander. Promise. Very good. Okay, so nice and simple sea support conversations, but I will take the opportunity to see them uh, when we go. Oh, and bond conversations as well, of course. It is good that we can talk after I spent so long silently watching over you. You could say that a little less creepily, Marth. I know what you mean. I'm really glad to have you at my side, supporting me in person. Oh, is that it? All right, okay. Level five. You can inherit the emblem skills. Okay. Uh, ring reference. Can I do the skill inheritance from here? Mm, no, I guess not. It's just telling me what I can do. So emblem rings. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll keep the ring layout now. Okay, manage skills. Yeah, there's none to select for inherited, so I guess I have to wait until I get them. So, all right, and then storehouse. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead. So, is there anything new? Ooh, deployment rankings. Well, connected to the network, you can see which units and emblems players commonly deployed on a map. This knowledge may be useful as you consider which units to deploy. Okay. So it's like the see what other players did feature in Three Houses, but for... But you've already played the chapter, so what, what does it matter? Like, of course these are all going to be the same. I suppose it tells you who people switched around with Sigurd. So, yeah, obviously Alfred. And, but some people switched to Vander and Etier and Fram. Okay, so clearly people felt that Sigurd was free to change around. And then Marth, less so. What? Uh, okay. So I'm seeing new characters in this list, but how does that work? Is this... Is there like a new game plus option that lets you do this? Huh. Okay, and it caps out at 73. Weird. Okay, um, let's go to the Somnial quickly, see if there's anything new actually there. Um, but then, otherwise, I think we'll just head on to the next chapter. I'm assuming nothing has actually changed in the Somnial. But I'm kind of seeing now that there's a... So the flow of the game would be story chapter. After the battle, in between streams, go and do stuff in the Somnial. We have the expansion pass bonus and we can enter the ring chamber. 
Okay, so strength training's available. And we've got a load of items. Steel weapons and gold. Novice book, adept book. Oh, okay. Hmm. Crystals? Are they going to be like... I guess they'll work like crests in three houses. Huh. Okay. Oh, yes, and we're unlocking all the... The places, the facilities. Well, I have to say, it does look better than the stalls in three houses. <laughs> the Somnia's gone pretty busy, huh? How to believe we were used to be the only ones up here. And of course, we can gift stuff. I thank you. It's an honor to ply my humble trade on the sacred ground. At the item shop, I stock vulnerabilities and other goods you may now find useful. So, yeah, okay. But we already did all this anyway, so. Do come again. Okay. Oh yeah, of course, you don't really get to talk with the emblems if you don't go to the Somnial. <laughs> After I fight side by side with someone, I find myself seeking them out on the Somnial. Yes. Emblems may spend their hours here, becoming better acquainted with our comrades in arms. It's like this. I've not been here for, for centuries. Please, the Ferenay royal family do take care of them. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me on this holy ground, but might we be off to Ferenay Castle soon? Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think... Well, let's see what the ring chamber's like. Well, that's the arena. It's locked up for now. Uh, where is the ring chamber? Bulletin board? I suppose... No, oh, I can't actually afford any donations. Spent too much on items and stuff. Uh, ooh, yes. Ring chamber. Travel to the ring chamber. I assume this is where we see Bond conversations normally. 